so we have seen in our last class what is reciprocal lattice and the reciprocal lattice vectors uh, for simple cubic 4d centered cubic and 5 centered cubic structures today we will discuss about the bragg's law in reciprocal lattice you have studied uh, the bragg's diffraction from crystal lattice and the bragg's bragg's law uh, which is 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda where n is the order of uh, reflection and d is the spacing between the planes and theta is the angle of reflection or scattering and so on okay now we'll discuss the bragg's law and reciprocal lattice the bragg's diffraction condition uh, obtained earlier by considering reflection from parallel lattice planes can be used to express geometrical relationship between the vectors in reciprocal lattice so this law can be used uh, for establishing the relationship between uh, the vectors in a reciprocal lattice uh, so here uh, a figure is shown uh, this is a reciprocal lattice these are points in reciprocal lattice so we are starting from a point o uh, this is the point o which need not be a lattice point in the reciprocal lattice so it is somewhere uh, in this reciprocal but lattice but it is need not be a lattice point in this lattice so we uh, what we are doing is we are drawing a vector a o uh in the direction of the incident x ray so suppose an incident uh, ray suppose a ray of uh, x ray is incident uh, in this direction in this reciprocal lattice and we are we have we are drawing a vector in this direction with length equal to uh, reciprocal of the wavelength of the incident ray uh, that is 1 by lambda where lambda is incident wave so so this is vector a and taking a as the center taking a as the center we are drawing a sphere uh, with the length uh, with radius equal to ao so we are getting a sphere and this sphere may intersect some point in some point in the lattice that is it may intersect some lattice points in the reciprocal lattice suppose v is the uh, lattice point uh, which is the reciprocal lattice point which intersects on this sphere of radius ao so we have constructed a sphere of radius ao which is equal to 1 by lambda where lambda is the wavelength of the incident ray okay let the coordinates uh, of point b this point coordinates of this point b b h prime k prime l prime which may have a highest common factor n that is the coordinate coordinates of are of the type nh nk and nl where h k and l do not have a common factor other than unity so the coordinates of this b uh, supposed to be h prime k prime and l and if it is having a highest common factor n we can represent this as n h n k and n l uh, such that h k and l do not have a common factor other than unity and since these two are uh, this point is a lattice point in uh, reciprocal lattice and this points this point of intersection of the sphere uh, is with the lattice point in a reciprocal lattice so these two points are reciprocal uh, lattice points 
so definitely ob will represents a reciprocal lattice vector okay so ob is a reciprocal lattice vector it must therefore be normal to the plane h prime k prime l prime or h k l and should have a length equal to 1 by h prime k prime l prime or n by d h k l where d is the d h k l is the distance between two parallel planes having index h k l so this is uh, quite clear from the definition of the reciprocal lattice point so we have seen how this reciprocal lattice is constructed so it is clear from that mm. so this length must be uh, uh, this line this this line means ob uh, which is which are connecting two lattice points in the reciprocal lattice uh, must be a normal to the plane h prime k prime l prime or h k l okay so that ob can be represented by n by d h k l since it is proportional inversely proportional to the distance between two parallel plane planes so we can represent this like this it follows from the geometry that one such plane is the plane AA. So, one normal to this plane uh, is this plane, which is shown by the line AE. Okay, which will be normal to these planes. And, and suppose that uh, this is angle bet angle between this normal and this vector ao so this is o sorry this is theta and this is also will be theta okay and this side will be o oa sin theta and similarly this side will be o ab sin theta Okay, since this is the radius, this and this will be equal, which is equal to 1 by lambda, so that we can calculate this length, OB. So, OB can be equal to 2 times OE. OE means uh, this points, OE. This is OE, uh, so this length can be 2 times this value, so that will give you 2 O A sin theta uh, where O is 1 by lambda so we will get 2 sin theta by lambda. Comparing this with the previous equation that is uh, we have uh, established O B as n by d n by d h k l so we can equate this to this is O B and this is this is also OB. So, we can get these two. So, what we will get from these two expression is that 2 sin theta by lambda is equal to n by dhkl or we can write from this equation 2 times dhkl sin theta is equal to n, n lambda. So, look at this equation. What is this equation? This is nothing but the Bragg's law. Here, d hkl is the, the interplanar distance and and be the order of ref, reflection so this is the bragg's law okay thus we obtain that if the coordinates of a reciprocal point nh nk nl contain a common factor n then it represents nth order reflection from the planes which is quite clear uh, from this expression so we have started with a, uh, a coordinates uh, with the nh nk and l which having a common factor n so if you obtain uh, so if you have if the coordinates of a reciprocal point is nh nk and nk but in a common factor n then it represents n order reflection from the planes hk it is also evident from the above geometrical construction that the Bragg's condition will be satisfied for a given wavelength lambda provided the surface of radius 1 by lambda drawn about a point A intersects a point of the reciprocal lattice. 
such a construction is called evolved construction so from this above from the above geometry we have seen that by drawing the sphere with length with radius equal to the reciprocal of the wavelength of the incident wavelength uh, the sphere is uh, the surface of the sphere meets uh, at some point in the reciprocal lattice at least one point uh, is meeting in the meeting the reciprocal lattice point so such a construction is called evolved con construction so this bragg's law uh, itself takes a different form in the reciprocal lattice so this can be uh, expressed in different form in the reciprocal lattice for this uh, we are modifying the previous uh, previous geometry uh, what we are doing is we draw the we redraw the picture uh, that is ao i have shown here ao and ob sorry ob uh, that is this stick this picture you know, remember this picture this is oa ab and oe and we are redrawing this picture like this mm. this picture is redrawing such that each is magnified magnified by a constant factor of 2 pi uh, and and let the new vectors be represented by a prime o prime and o prime b prime and a prime b prime and since a prime o prime is equal to a prime o prime is equal to 2 pi times uh, a o or a o is the that uh, uh, that is in the previous figure um, and a o is the one a o is the reciprocal of wavelength so 2 pi by lambda so a a prime o prime is equal to 2 pi by lambda we can represent the wave vector k by the vector a prime o prime okay so this is the incident direction of the a, a incident ray direction so we can represent say a prime o prime as the wave vector k okay now the vector o prime b prime is the reciprocal vector uh, so this uh, these two points are reciprocal lattice points so the vector connecting these two uh, is a reciprocal vector and can be represented by vector g thus according to vectors algebra from this triangle from this triangle a prime b prime a prime b prime must be equal to sorry a prime b prime must be equal to uh, this this vector a prime b prime must be equal to a prime o prime plus o prime b prime okay some of these two vectors so we can write this is k vector and this is g vector so a prime b prime can be represented as uh, some of these two vectors that is k prime k plus g okay so i have written this here k prime g prime for diffraction to occur the point b must be on the sphere which have seen before so this point b must be on the sphere so a prime b prime must be equal to a prime o prime so these two these two a prime b prime must be equal to uh, a prime o prime since b prime is on this sphere okay so a prime b prime is nothing but k prime plus g prime so taking the mode value we will get the square value k plus g whole square which is equal to k square uh, reciprocal sorry uh, k square which is a prime o prime so squaring on the left side we will get 
k square 2 kg plus g square which is equal to k square so 2 k dot g plus g square is equal to 0 since k square k square will cancel out each other this is the vector form of Bragg's law and is used in the construction of Brillouin. So this equation, this equation is known as or Bragg's law in reciprocal lattice, and this is used in the construction of Brillouin zone in reciprocal lattice. The vector a prime b prime uh, that is k plus g represents the direction of refracted or scattered beam, denoting it by k prime. Mm, since uh, the wave vector, the incident ray vector is represented by k, uh, the vector a prime b prime uh, represents, that is this vector, uh, a prime b prime represents the direction of the scattered or uh, reflected beam. Uh, the vector can be represented by k prime um, because we have represented the incident ray vector as k. Uh, the scattered vector can be represented by k prime uh, so that we can write k prime as k plus g that is from this geometry this k prime is k plus g and uh, since b prime is on this sphere uh, and these two length will be equal so k is equal to k prime so we can write k prime square is equal to k square and also uh, k prime minus k which is nothing but delta k is equal to g from this expression so what this equation indi indicates is that the scattering does not change scattering does not change the magnitude of wave vector k only its direction is changed also the scattered wave differs from the incident wave by a reciprocal lattice vector g so here we have seen that k prime is equal to k uh, so this indicates that its scattering does not change the magnitude of the wave vector and uh, from this expression we have seen that the difference of this vector is g square that is uh, the only so magnitude does not change all its direction is also the scattered wave differs from the incident wave by the reciprocal lattice vector g k so this is clear from this expression so this this is about uh, Bragg's law in reciprocal lattice